Hi, I'm Jasmine Harmon, and for those of you looking to buy a property in Spain this year, I'm about to give you some really valuable pointers on what to expect from the process and how to buy your dream home. Spain has long been your favourite place to buy abroad and remains the number one in our top 10 best places to buy annual report. But how do you know which area is for you and what type of property to buy? Like buying here in the UK, it's important that you carry out thorough research on what, where and how you're going to purchase in Spain. Thankfully, there are a number of useful ways to carry out this research. First up, a aplaceinthesun.com lists over 40,000 Spanish properties, where you can set your price range, location, property type and find quirky traits by using keywords. The website also features up-to-date case studies from buyers, news stories and market reports to keep you in the loop. A Place in the Sun Live, our nationwide overseas property exhibition, is also the perfect place to meet industry professionals based in Spain, to meet owners of Spanish properties and to meet myself and the other TV presenters. Next up, viewing trips. Consider going on a solo viewing trip or with a Spanish agent or developer, but make sure you know what to expect and that you understand what's involved. If you prefer to do your own thing and see a wider range of properties, then arrange your own trip and book in for half a day with agents representing properties that you found online and see what else they have to offer and benefit from their local knowledge. If you're going on a trip booked by a developer, don't feel pressurised into buying anything there and then. You need time to reflect, away from the sun and sangria. If you're seriously considering buying a property in Spain, it's never too early to start looking for a lawyer to represent your interests throughout the transaction. If you have a lawyer in place, and of course the funds to buy, or an agreement in principle for a mortgage, then an estate agent will consider you a serious buyer, which may also help you when negotiating the final price. When you do have an offer accepted, you'll certainly require an independent lawyer in place, just as you would when buying a property in the UK, and should never sign any documentation before having it examined by your legal professional. An English-speaking lawyer will also be able to assist you whilst you apply for your NIE number and open a bank account. Two must-dos before you purchase. You need to know exactly how much you can afford to spend and how you will finance your Spanish property. Many agents recommend you have your finances in place before you go and view properties, so you won't lose out if you see something you want to make an offer on. For financing, will you remortgage your UK home to release equity, use savings and or pension funds, or try to get a mortgage? You must also factor in buying costs and running costs too. Currency exchange is something that buyers often leave until the last minute when purchasing an overseas property, when in fact it should be considered much earlier. Buying abroad will almost always involve a transfer of money between currencies, meaning that if you skip your research or arrange a transfer through a high street bank, you could end up paying over the odds in fees and poor exchange rates. Using a specialist currency company such as A Place in the Sun Currency will ensure you get the support and expertise you need as well as a competitive exchange rate. For more information, check out aplaceinthesuncurrency.com. As is standard in the UK, it's recommended to obtain a survey when buying your Spanish home, as it will reduce the chance of discovering any defects or nasty surprises about the property's condition after you've bought, and will help you assure the safety and suitability of the property. If through the survey there are any structural problems, this will help you to negotiate the price or insist certain works be carried out before the house is purchased. Once everything has been approved by your solicitor and the property is in good order, you'll then need to agree on who pays which taxes, sign the deposit contract and then agree a date of completion. It's on the completion day when you'll need to pay the rest of the money, including property taxes, and register the purchase with the land registry. Then simply sit back, relax and enjoy your dream Spanish property. For further information on what I've just covered, plus more about living in Spain, download our free and independently researched Spanish property guide from aplaceinthesun.com. Adios!